Hello guys, how are you? Uh, it's me, I'm back again for another video and this time we're going to talk about PCBs, Branded Circuit Verse. Are you ready? Let's go! The world around us is populated by electronic devices. Some of these devices are sexual, while others attract a lot of attention. But whether the device is something you can play through like a game console or is the smartphone that annoys you with constant interruptions, they all will have some sort of branded circuit boards at their architecture. Branded circuit boards have been around since World War II when they were developed for military applications. Once this technology was released for commercial use, electronic manufacturers quickly adopted as it provided a much more cost-effective solution than the traditional point-to-point construction of electronics. Over the years, circuit board manufacturing has continued to grow in order to keep up with the increasing demands of newer, faster, and more complex electronic circuitry. A PCB is a bird that has traces and paths that connect various points together. In the picture, there are traces that electrically connect the various connectors and components to each other. In another way, a PCB allows signals and power to be routed between physical devices. Another important thing is the solder which is the module that makes the electrical connections between the surface of the PCB and the electronic components and it also serves as a strong mechanical adhesive. The construction of the PCB can be done in three ways, namely single-sided, double-sided and multi-layered. The components on a PCB are connected electrically to the circuits by two different methods, such as hole technology and surface mount. In hole technology, every component consists of a thin leads which are pressed through tiny holes in the substrate and soldered to connection bursts in the circuits on the reverse side. In surface mount technology, J-chipped or L-chipped terminals on every component get touched with the PCB directly. Let's now talk about the different kind of PCBs. Single-sided printed circuit board is the most basic type of PCB. It consists of only one conductive cube layer above the substrate and the electrical components are soldered or mounted on to one side of the bird and the entire each circuit can be seen on the other side of the bird. Single-sided printed circuit birds are easy to design and manufacture. They are also the most cost-effective PCBs. Since these birds have only one conduction layer, the conductive paths cannot cross or overlap and thus tend to take a large amount of space. Due to this, such PCBs are ideal for low density design requirements. Double sided printed circuit birds this type of PCBs is much more familiar than single-sided birds. Both sides of the bird substrate include metal conductive layers and elements attach both sides as well. Holes in the PCB let circuits on single side to attach to circuits on the other side. Today, double-sided printed circuit bird technology is perhaps the most popular type of PCB in the industry. Multi-layer printed circuit boards A multi-layer PCB, as the name suggests, consists of more than three double-sided layers. 
the layers are made of a conductive material like copper which are interconnected through holes that have a technical name which is bias. The PCB design engineer decides the number of layers stuck according to the application and async signals. For example, power, ground, high speed signals, etc. For higher compactness, the number of layers is increased. This way, a multi-layer PCB helps in reducing the overall size of the PCB. I'd like to finish the video by presenting three free PCB design software that you can use to get started designing. First of all, let's start with Design Spark PCB. It's one of the world's most popular and easy accessible electronics design software platforms. And for good reason, the program is easy to use and learn. It's constantly updated to improve its intuitiveness in order to better assess the designer in bringing his or her concept to production. Easily capture schematics, design PCB birds, improve layouts, and more, all with this one program. The second software is Express PCB. If you are just starting out designing printed circuit boards, then Express PCB is a good platform to use. It's a very simple design platform, both in terms of learning how the ins and the outs of the system as well as actually using it in daily basis. Some feeders are a bit dated and delivery isn't that big, so it's not the best of the best but it's good enough to use for personal projects and for those which just get started in the field. And finally there is KiCad. The two main features that are great about KiCad is that it can be used for any size bird. Yes, there are programs that limit this like Eagle for example. And KiCad can be used to create designs with any number of layers. But with this being a free program, there are some pitfalls, of course. The user interface a bit dated and delivery a bit limited. Regardless, at the end of the day, KiCad does get the job done. So it's the end of the video, thank you for watching. If you like the content, don't forget to break the subscribe button for more content and follow FL Embedded on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. See you next time for another video. Peace out.